السلام عليكم انا اسمي معاذ وهذه محاضره على الجلوبال سيرجري تابعين للانسيجن ليبيا اهلا وسهلا بكم وان شاء الله تستمتعوا What is global surgery? It's a field of study, research, education, and advocacy within global health. It aims to get better health outcomes and equity through timely access to safe surgical anesthesia and obstetric care throughout the world. Uh, we know that the world has unequal amount of surgeons, um, unequal amount of facilities and infrastructure, and this cannot continue the way it is. It is not good either that high income countries, such as European countries or the US, send few surgeons to Africa, for example, and op they operate there for a week and then go back to their own countries. It's not sustainable, it's not good in the long term, um, and it needs to be um, changed so that the countries themselves are provided with a system um, that provides healthcare. So they would not be reliant on few people from abroad. Some statistics. So as you saw this map here, you can see the proportion of population without access to surgery. And it's closer to 100 in a lot of countries here, Sub-Saharan Africa, in South Asia, and even in countries uh, of the Middle East, and Asia in general. So high income countries, and then some Latin American countries um, do have good access to surgical care. You can even notice here that uh, Southern Africa has higher or better access to surgical care than North Africa. Um, Statistics. Five billion people do not have timely access to safe surgical care when needed. So the planet has seven billion and five billion do not have the timely access to safe surgical care. There are 18 million preventable deaths every year due to lack of surgical anesthesia or obstetric care which is over four times the mortality due to HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. So this is a big issue. People die because they don't get into operational. Surgically treatable conditions make up 28 to 32 percent of global burden of disease. You remember the last lectures we discussed the global burden of disease and how NCDs make up a huge part of it. Uh, and now when we dig deeper and see um, in general what portion of the global burden of disease is treatable with surgery or that surgery is necessary for treating it, uh, we see that 28 to 32 percent are surgically treatable. Um, so, for example, we have congenital malformations, obstetric complications, cancer, cardiovascular disease, road traffic injuries, violence. All of these require surgery. In many cases, you don't do surgery, you die. So unfortunately, that's how it is. We, <clears throat> we can see here uh, the need uh, of surgery per region. Um, this is a nice table. You can come later and, and watch it uh, and look at it. But you can see here that, for example, the population size in Western Europe, so if we look down here, is, let's put the, the color. Um, let's see. Yeah, so the population in, in Western Europe, it's 416 million people. Uh, and then if we see, look at the estimated total need of, of surgery um, in the region, it's, it's this high, this much. Uh, and then when we actually see the unmet need, we have zero. So all of the pe people that need surgery get surgery. Um, in Western Europe. Um, and then you see the same in high income and Asian Pacific countries, Yan Liaban, Korea, Genobia, the same thing. Everybody estimated unmet need. Everybody gets surgery pretty much when, when they need it. Um, Central Latin America has also very good statistics on that. Uh, but then we come to countries uh, in, in um, North and Middle 
North Africa and the Middle East, we noticed that there are um, each year approximately two over two million people do not get surgery um, that they need, um, and so on. So that's that is something. Let's see. Let's continue. Oh, the drawings. Uh, so, so yeah. So every year, 313 million operations take place around the world. Yet only 6.5 percent takes in the poorest place in the poorest third, where people actually need surgical care most. Um, so it's skewed. It's um, people get operations if they live in rich country or richer country, and if they're born in the poor country, then they don't get it um, as well. So this is a huge problem. Uh, and it's a big problem because in the future, it's going to be a much bigger problem. We discussed last lecture about the increasing rate of NCDs and how surgery, and actually surgery is directly related to NCDs. So by 2030, 2.2 million additional surgeons, anesthetists, and obstetricians are needed to provide the additional 130, 143 million procedure needed per year. So the rate of, of procedures needed is going to be big, uh, and we're going to need to face that uh, needed uh, amount of procedures uh, with surgeons, and anesthetists, and obstetricians, and nurses. Um, and this requires, as we all know, this requires lots of money. This requires infrastructure, it requires training, it requires change of culture, change of um, healthcare systems, and so on and so on. So it's a very complicated and very big issue. However, uh, and, and then there's also one aspect that we tend to think that surgery is a luxury. It's a, it's a haja kibira, yani. Hiya taban haja kibira, lakin mahishi. It's not a it's not a luxury. It shouldn't be. في بعض العمليات لازم يندارن يعني للإنسان يموت لو ما يندارنش والمرض طبعا ما يختارش وين يجي appendicitis, open fractures, cesarean sections. هذين لازم واحد يديرهن يعني يعني هذا تصير مشاكل والشخص ممكن يموت يعني complications and so on. So there is so much that the low and middle income countries are going to lose because of surgical uh, diseases and complications. So an investment of $350 billion um, is going to be needed to prevent the potential loss of 12.3 trillion US dollars. So let me think about it, for example, someone who is in their 25th year, who is able to do هذاي ال 25 يخش في هذا السيارة وكراها تكسر. Um, and then he's gonna be staying in the bed. Um, I mean, yeah, he's, he gets a fracture. Uh, and then there's no place to operate him, so he will become limp. يقعد لك شخص عنده رجل واحدة يعني. ويقعد شوية إذا ما فيش إمكانيات. ما كانش في إمكانيات لعملية ومعناها مش بالضرورة راح يكون إمكانيات بأن يديروا له تأهيل أيضا ريهابيليتيشن وفيزيوثيرابي والجو هذا وهذه في حال بأن ما تصير لاش كومبليكيشن ما يصيرش التهاب وما يموتش على موضوع الالتهاب. So what's gonna happen he's gonna end up um, in a capacity level that's lower than the previous one يعني حيكون مثلا برجل واحدة وبعدين كل الأشغال اللي متاحة له you know, you will not be able to do all the jobs that you previously would have been able, which in many countries, low and middle income countries, limits your op op opportunities a lot. Um, it's not that, not every country, so in many settings, people don't work in office. People work out on the field, they work on lifting things, they work on, uh, on the streets, on, on the um, factories, and so on and so on. Um, and it will be difficult for this young man to do it ports, airports. Uh, so it's a big thing. So this, all, of, all of this future is lost money to the society. That's why the price is also very high. Um, yeah. So in 2014, a study on surgery um, was, it, it found that 
it could be very cost effective in low resource settings. So we discussed about the disability adjusted life years in the previous lecture, and it's about how big of a disease burden um, it's it's a measure it's a way to measure disease burden, right? Yeah, and, he, um, yeah, uh, and then we can see from this study uh, that it's cost effective. So we didn't use that many dollars uh, to save so many dallies. You know, uh, I will show you a graph, uh, a figure later, so you'll understand what I mean. But the conclusion is that simple surgical in interventions, both life-saving and disability preventing, should be integrated in public health policies. Surgical care should not be luxury, and it is not costly. Uh, it's a myth that it's costly. I mean. uh, كيف ما قلت لكم الراجل الشاب اللي 25 سنه اللي كسرت قراعه لو داروا له العمليه من بدري um, within a, um, a month or so he would have been maybe again walking and that is a huge huge saving for the society انت عمرك 25 مازال عندك يعني كم 60 سنه uh, in the good case and in other countries a little bit lower but you would be working for the society you would be doing something useful that generates money um so it's it's cost effective um, and this is to point out because in, in many settings people think that um, تقارن بالمستقبل وبالفلوس اللي المجتمع يخسرهم في المستقبل هذه حاجة كبيرة وطبعا خليني من الثمن العمليات اللي تندفع من جيب يعني عمليات الخاصة وكذا هذه هذه مشكلة حتى هذه تنجولها the, the cost of surgery is expensive to the patient and that is a problem when it is expensive so we'll come to that later so here is the graph. Uh, we can see that the cost is uh, per daily averted is best in cataract surgery. So هما حاسبين هنا بأن إذا دير العملية القصد الكاتراكت نتاع العين أيوة عملية مش القسطرة الكاتراكت it's it's cost effective and it saves a lot of money in the future. Lena Taban, Intelo Dir Amalia, Liwaha Domra, Teletin Sana, Hamian, we root the Basara Bel Amalia, Halas, you got the Senawat Killa, he ish, out Bianakun who was Shaksky Beer and Musin Stin of Hamsin with the Rural Amalia, Hayatel Bach, you got in Shalas Ishuf, and you get the Rish to all we ish, Ukeda, who he Amalia Diranha. سريع وبسيط ورخيص يعني ما تحتاجش الا موس وواحد يعرف يديرها وطبعا الحاجات اللي حوالينها لكن it's very cost effective the same thing here are other uh, things uh, so you have male circumcision um, emergency obstetric services extremely cost effective because غير تاخذ الموس وتفتح البطن you saved a life uh, and one life is worth unlimited amount of money but um, but in, in in research they put um, a price or a calculation of how much this person would have probably have brought to the society but it's it's expensive to lose people um cleft lip operations very cost effective um cesarean cost effective uh, and then you see enforcement of seat belt laws is not cost effective because you have policemen going around and and trying to enforce this you have campaigns that are costly and so on and so on and then at the end people don't actually um put them um these these seat belts um and then many people die not because of the seat belt uh, they die because of the high velocity trauma um and then the same thing you and here you see hiv uh, drugs are very expensive um but yeah, then trauma hospital is cost effective. Um, so it is surgical interventions are are cheap in consideration of the big picture. Then in 2015, the, there was a commission called the Lancet Commission on Global Surgery. They published a report uh, which was about 60 pages, Mojuda online PDF, Nansah uh, It maps the state of access to surgery globally. 
The report provided ways and guidelines and frameworks to address the gap in surgical care. So, they, so, so when talking about access to surgery, 5 billion people do not have access to safe surgical care when needed. What is uh, Access was defined as available in timely matter, in matter, having necessary capacity, being of sufficient quality and safety, and being affordable. Um, يعني انت لما تكون في دولة country وتبي تاخذ تبي تخش دي العملية باهي if you get it on time if you don't I mean if you don't get it on time then it, you don't have access to surgery يعني اذا فاتك القطار معناها خلاص it's not no access to surgery او مثلا اذا المستشفى ثلاث um, ايام مشي من المكان اللي انت فيه خلاص it's it's not reachable you don't have access باهي okay if he can actually reach it خلاص يلا then we look at the other metric here surgical capacity is not available uh, اذا ما فيش يعني uh, ناس يشتغلوا على الجراحه اذا ما فيش جراحين في المستشفى خلاص you don't have access to surgery right but if you have surgeons, خلاص, you have surgical capacity. Okay, then we go to the next level. Safety. Sa- facility cannot perform safe, appropriate surgery. بقى عندك جراح لكن الدنيا مسخة وما يقدرش عمليات مش آمنة. يعني جراح يدير لك في 70 عملية في اليوم في اللي يقصوا يكي بسرعة وبعدين يحطوهم في البوست اوبراتيف وارد وبعدين يموتوا من inflammations. This is not access to safe surgical care. لكن إذا يشتغل شغل تمام وفيه الإمكانيات خلاص facility can perform safe appropriate surgery and then comes the last one which is also very important uh, cannot obtain surgery without catastrophic expenditure uh, إذا ما مش بالإمكان تدفع uh, مش بإمكانك تدفع الجراحة هذه بطريقة بأنها ما تأثرش uh, في عيشتك بطريقة جذرية uh, that's a big thing, you know. Uh, you should be able to pay for the surgery. Some people cannot. It will put them in bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Oh, خلاص يعني في اللي بو عائلة عمرها تلاتين سنة أو أربعين سنة عنده خمسة أطفال يوقف فيهم وكلهم يشتغلوا وبعدين هو خش في حادث ما عندهمش فلوس لعملية أو لو يبي خش لعملية لازم يدفع عشرين ألف دولار مثلاً هو تلقاه في الهند وما فيش فلوس يعني الموضوع. وممكن يقدر يلم يعني 20,000 بعد تعب مع اهل وكذا لكن حي كل مصروفاته والذهاب وكله حيريح فيه. يعني this is a catastrophic بعدين الاطفال كيف يبوا ياكلوا؟ كيف يبوا يعيشوا؟ كيف يبوا so this is a big issue as well. Many don't go to surgery then. Uh, so here's again the, the definitions. In this study, timely was uh, decided to be patient ought to be able to reach near surgical care facility within a reasonable time, which is two hours. يعني ساعتين مفروض يكون المستشفى اللي فيه لهم عملية تندار يعني بعد المستشفى. For example, a patient with an open fracture leg having to walk 50 kilometers due to lack of transport won't reach surgical care before further complications. Then there's capacity. You have to have infrastructure, hospital setting, beds, equipment essential drugs and human resources doctors nurses technicians يعني على الاقل حتى طبيب تلقاه لازم يكون موجود او ممرضه تعرف تدير عمليه safety safe surgery is important to avoid unnecessary high morbidity and mortality rates uh, affordable affordability is needed for full access in many cases patients have to pay a lot of money which means that they will not be possible to do it or it pushes them into poverty ناس فيه اللي يقعدوا فقراء من سبب عملية واحدة اضطروا يديروها مثلا لطفلهم ولا للمراه ولا للراجل يعني هذه مشكلة كبيرة عالميا. Then here are the different surgical indicators. So in the Global Surgery 2030, uh, the Lancet Commission report, um, they published also six indicators to measure, evaluate and monitor surgical systems. فتو لما طلعوا ال definitions لل uh, different indicators uh, بدا العالم بامكانها يبدا يشتغل على ريسيرش بروجيكتس. They could measure and compare surgical systems in different countries. 
بدو يقدروا تقدر تقارن سيستم اذا تدير بحث تقدر تدير بحث تقارن يعني سيستم الجراحي في ليبيا مع تونس مع الجزائر مع تشاد مع مالي نيجر اند سون وات كود يو كومبير يو كود كومبير اكسس سو تو اور اكسس سيرجيكال فوليوم امبوفرشينج اكسبنديتشر هذا هي يعني الافوردابيلتي سيرجيكال ورك فور ذا ورك فورس دنسيتي بوست اوبريتيف مورتاليتي ريت كاتاستروفيك اكسبنديتشر So these are different indicators that you can measure and then compare and use to create better environment. Universal health coverage, uh, it's a big issue as well. Every year, 33 million people face catastrophic expenditure because of out-of-pocket payments for surgical care. Yani, 33 million shakhs yikhoshu fi mawaq عميقه مشاكل كبيره ماليا من سبب عمليه جراحيه لازم يدفع هيك ادفع ثمن ثمن العمليه 3000 دولار ادفع اديشنال 48 مليون فيس ذيس ديزاستر وين يو انكلود نون ميديكال كوستس ترانسبورتيشن لوجينج ميلز اند ذن وزيد يا زايد لو ما زال لازم تدفع خلاص لازم تدفع 70 دولار على السياره اللي شالاتك او تبي تشيلك، لازم تدفع 15 دولار على الاكل اللي حيوفروا لك، لازم تدفع 17 لازم تدفع كم 100 دولار ليله في المستشفى. هذينا يزيد كميه الناس اللي مش بامكانهم يدفعوا العمليات. سو ان توتال 81 مليون بيبل ار بوشت further into poverty to access surgical care. Um, يعني. uh, healthcare coverage is actual access to healthcare. يعني في حاجة اسمها healthcare coverage. وهذا هي, هي نطاق الصحي بالحق يعني رسمي كيف ما نقوله. يعني لازم um, وجل العالم طبعا ما عندش شيء. Um, in sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia only 5 to 10% of population covered. وهذا ما عادة الناس عندهم فلوس. يعني 5% من 5 ل 10% من المواطنين اللي في البلدان المناطق في سب سارن افريكا او ساوث ايجا هذوما عندهم يعني صرف صحي لكن الباقي لو تكسر كراك لو تكسر كراك في حال السياره ولا كذا الله غالب لازم تلقى تلم دور دبر حالك يعني And the rate is a little bit higher, better in middle income countries, which is 20 to 60 percent. Uh, the Lancet Commission uses uh, or says that 80 percent of the population, the 80 is not visible here, should be in reach of bellwether uh, procedures within two hours. Yani, and these bellwether procedures, they are like essential surgical operations everybody so 80 percent should reach these operations within two hours when they need it emergency laparotomy emergency cesarean section and open long bone fracture these three these are very much needed you yourself we know um uh, acute abdomen acute abdomen you need to open if you do let alone if you don't have laparoscopy you have to open you have to see what's happening um same thing obstetrics it's emergency cesarean you have to do it when you have to do it um open long bone fracture you have to do an open fixation it's um, you can't leave it hanging otherwise infection and you lose a limb um so these are very big issues uh, So the commission report, it uses a so-called, it brought also a so-called three delays framework, which could be used to better understand the factors influencing access to surgical anesthesia care. Um, so surgical systems or healthcare systems in general are built in a way that you have the community, then you have the primary health center, then you have the district hospital, and then you have the higher tertiary level hospital. And in Mustafa Jami, um, and then there are delays, three delays uh, in this system. So the first delay is to seek care. 
يعني انت لما تكون في الحوش وتصير لك مشكله شنو اللي يقول لك بان لازم تو تمشي للمستشفى there are many factors that delay you actually going to the hospital culture or cultural traditions in some countries perception of care اذا انت براك بان المستشفى بكم حي مش كويسين وحي يعتدوا عليك ولا يصير مشاكل معك مش حتمشي طبعا مش حتختار بانك تمشي للمستشفى اصلا lack of awareness اذا انت مش عارف تقول بان عندي صارت لك chest pain وواحد يقول لك بحتاج بان ها في زبيطه عندها هني عسل خود العسل اللي يساعدك في chest pain you know things like this lack of awareness انت مش فاهم يعني chest pain تحتاج هذه مشكله قلب لازم ممكن تكون مشكله قلب لازم تمشي المستشفى جيوغرافي في ناس يعيشوا في مسافات بعيده اللي يسكن في تزربو مش بالضروره بسهوله يقول لك باه نمشي المستشفى او اللي يسكن في منطقه بعيده جدا اكاكوس وهيك يعني مسافات شاسعه same thing in in other countries جبال وانهار ومسافات طويله financial limitations في اللي ما عندهش فلوس يمشي هيك وخلاص المستشفى وانيكواليتيز في في اللي ما خليش مراته تمشي للمستشفى في اللي ما خليش اطفاله يمشوا للمستشفى في اللي مناطق اللي يقولوا لا هذوما من هذوما في مناطق فيها اماكن عنصريه يقولوا لا هذوما من البشره السوداء ما نخلوهمش يخصوا المستشفى في اللي في مناطق يقول لك بان لا هذوما تابعين لقبيله كذا ممنوع يجوا فك سكند delay in reaching care uh, this is when you actually decide that you need to go to the hospital but it will take time um, so there will be delay in poor transportation road infrastructure costly transportation services uh, then the third delay is in receiving care inadequate referral systems poorly trained workforce poor facilities care lack of medicines يعني اوكي توصل المستشفى بعدين ياخذ لك وقت مش اصلا يبدا في العمليه ياخذ تاخذ وقت يقول لك بان لازم تجيب لازم تمشي انت تجي تطلع تشوف من الصيدليه الدواء كذا ولا يقولوا لك بان لا الجراح هذا مش موجود اليوم يجي له الاسبوع الجاي ولا يقولوا لك بان المحول ما يشتغلش ولا يقول الميه مش موجوده فهذه تدير التاخير الثالث في في السيستم هذا سو ذيس ا ميثود تو لوك ات ديفرنت سيستمز هيلث كير سيستمز So this is the last slide. Uh, what is needed when we talk about global surgery? What is the goal? يعني? One of the goals is to reduce all these three delays. We have to have strong pre-hospital network. There has to be community participation. There has to be emergency transportation. There has to be infrastructure and resource investment. There has to be advocacy. There has to be education. Capacity building, international and national approach. هذه تحتاج شغل دولي وشغل وطني يعني الامم المتحده والجهات المعنيه الدوليه وقاعده تشتغل على الموضوع هذا لكن ايضا شنو يحتاج الوزارات ويحتاج الجامعات ويحتاج الطلاب الطب ميديكال ستودنتس اند يانج دكتورز ناو فيرست جينيريشن فور لوف سيرجن نحن اول جيل نكونوا ندرسوا في الطب او هذا متخرجين ومشكله ال NCDs وال global surgery uh, مشكلة يعني نحن أول جيل اللي حنقعد ون... ون... لازم نشتغلوا عليه المواضيع هذينا ح... أكثر وأكثر في المستقبل ح... ح... حن... حنتلاقوا بالمرضى اللي حيكون عندهم م... م... مشاكل جراحية ومشاكل في الديابيتس ومشاكل في ال... فهذينا نحن لازم نشتغلوا على الموضوع هذا يعني إن شاء الله الملاريا والتوبركلوسيس إن شاء الله تقعد موضوع تاريخ يعني نحن تو الموضوع الكبير اللي جاي هو موضوع الديابيتس موضوع العمليات موضوع الحوادث موضوع القلب السكر الحاجات هذينا سو ذير نيدز تو بي اولسو ايكوال كولابوريشن بين لو ميدل انكم كونتريز اند هاي انكم كونتريز ما عادش يكفي بان الاوروبيين غرجوا البلدان العالم الشرق الاوسط او افريقيا او اسيا وبعدين يروحوا يجي يدير لك ورك شوب يقول لك امم المتحده وكذا وبعدين يروح هو لهولندا ولا لفرنسا لازم يكون في اكثر بان اوكي هم جو نحن نمشوا بان يوفروا امكانيات للطلاب والاطباء اللي من العالم لو اند ميدل انكم كونتريز بان يمشوا لبلدان الهاي انكم كونتريز يديروا تدريبات انا كنت في اثيوبيا ودوالي واحد جراح اعصاب غادي قال لي بان 
الاوروبيين والامريكان يجونا لاثيوبيا وما شاء الله يعني يشتغلوا ويديروا ويعلموا وبعدين يردوا وبعدين لما نحن نبغى نمشوا لهم طبعا يصعبوا لك يقول لك لا وفيزا وكذا وبعدين لما تحصل منحه تمشي لهم شنو يديروا يخلوك تشوف ما تلمسش انت ما تلمس تشوف يعني مرات يخلوك تدير حاجه لكن عاده اوبزرفيشن فقال لي الفرق بين الاوروبيين مثلا الاوروبيين الامريكان بين اليابانيين والكوريين قال لي بيانا لما مشيت لكوريا واليابان خلوني ندير علموني وداروا لي هاندس اون فكنا في نفس الدرجه نفس الرتبه نحن انا جراح وانت جراح نشتغل مع بعض وتعلمت وكذا فحتى هم فهذه هذه فكره مهمه جدا في العالم وموضوع موضوع كبير يعني واحد مفروض ما يرضاش بس بان يوفروا له بانك تشوف وخلاص طبعا هذه حاجات في المستقبل واحد بامكانه ياثر فيهم لكن عالميا هذه الفكره قاعده تكثر الحمد لله يعني كويس بان فيها اكثر ومفروض في منح اكثر وامكانيات اكثر للطلاب اللي عايشين مثلا في افريقيا او في الشرق الاوسط او في اسيا او في امريكا اللاتينيه Uh, so and then building and rebuilding infrastructure in public sector district hospitals with surgical facilities system is sahi yahtaj bianna al mustashfiyat al aamma ikuna kwaysa lazim al muwatan bimkanah yalqa yakhosh fi al mustashfa yalqa qastara yalqa amaliya wa ma yadfa'sh wajd alayha wa lazim tkun muwafrinha lah min 'abr الصرف الصحي ال ال public مش حل بأن يكون فيه مستشفيات خاصة بس أو بأن يكون في جمعيات خاصة يوفر في السيستم الصحي لا العمليات أطباء بلا حدود والاي او ام وهذينا كويسين وما شاء الله وشغل جبار وبارك الله فيكم فيهم لكن مهمة توفير الصحة في الدولة هي وزارة الصحة والمستشفيات اللي المواطن مفروض بإمكانه يمشي يقدر علاج فيها وهذه طبعا حتى أطباء بلا حدود وآي او ام هذه نيدوا عليه الموضوع هذا بيان يعني هم يبوا يدعموا ما يبوش يقعدوا ياخذوا أكثر المسؤولية يبوا يدعموا لكن طبعا لما في بلدان واجد مش بإمكانه يديرا يوفر السيستم الصحي أصلا فهم يوفروا So this needs investment and building. A universal health coverage package include basic surgical care. يعني لازم صرف الصحي يكون أيضا العمليات الجراحية مربوطة به. وآخر شيء advocacy. لازم نحنا كطلاب وأطباء لازم نكونوا واعين على الموضوع ونتكلموا عليه الموضوع. فلهذا السبب عندنا Institution Global Surgery بش نديروا ريسيرش على الموضوع باش نديروا ادفوكاسي على الموضوع نديروا خرائط نديروا تنويه حتى الصحافه والاعلام والمواطنين اللي حوالينا وكليات الطب والجمعيات الدوليه وهيك باش يكون فيه تمام هذه المحاضره وشكرا